All right, everyone. It's the Vengeance the Kite here, and hopefully you're checking us out on the RPM Network. I like to thank you guys for watching the video, and I have Beyonce here. Uh, what I like to do is like to create celebrities in Saints Row 4, as you can obviously see. And I created this character, and a lot of you got kind of upset that I didn't use the formula to show you how to make the character. It's because I didn't do a good job on it at all. So this is my redo, and it's like a lot better. This is the uh, GQ outfit, if you guys didn't know. Which even that's spot on. Even that's a lot better. So I hope you guys like it. I am going to show you guys how to make the character. But before I do that. I'm going to show one more update I did on this outfit. Yep this one right here. This actually looks a lot better now. It actually looks a lot more like it. And if you guys don't believe me. You can go into the cutscenes of the game. Because most times when you make a, um, a character in the cutscenes. They look horrible. They look absolutely terrible. They look nothing like the character here. This is so much better. If you go into a cutscene, I promise you, it'll look amazing, just like this. And let me see. There's one Easter egg I want to show you guys that you probably don't know about. You can actually shoot down this door if you're persistent. And you can go inside. And it's like an Easter egg in here. A lot of you guys don't look up Easter eggs for Saints Row 4, so you might not know about this. But you can see like all the people's heads here. I'm assuming these people had something to do with making the game, like the um, directors or whatever. Like art directors and graphic designers and all that. So this is a pretty cool Easter egg, but most of you just see this and leave. But the, actually, if you look over here, there's a tiny little alien pistol, and I'm pretty sure that this is a Men in Black reference. Because it's, it's like that small gun that you're like, oh, this is going to suck. But if you charge it up, it leaves a huge explosion. You probably can't tell because I'm indoors, but if you do this outside... Or if you level the gun up all the way, it's like a really amazing. But it takes so long to charge. That's why you gotta like kind of upgrade it. As you can see, it's at 41%. It didn't even charge up. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked though. Let me uh, show you guys how to make the character. Alright, um, let me find the exit. Alright, here we go. I don't really know the um, place by heart. Like I do on GTA 4, so I gotta set it on the map. This is the fastest way to get there, so bear with me. It's right there, though. And when you come here, it doesn't matter if the cops are chasing you, because they won't if you um pay the 500. Alright, so let's start with uh, at the top. Obviously female. Obviously African American. Uh, 39, 14. You can play around with this if you want, but that seems perfect. Hispanic 3. I was going to do Hispanic oiled, but the Hispanic 3 looks better. Nothing on that. 0, 60. You can play around with that if you want. Uh, nothing on features. On crown. Forehead. I'll pause for a second so you guys on mobile have a chance to pause the video. So that's basically all you got to do is just pause it and enter everything as you see. Just put eyes brown. I left all the ears blank because I had hair that covered up the ears so it didn't matter. But now I'm using ones that you can see but it, it doesn't look that bad though. This is part one and all the way at the bottom is the second one. And same here. Alright, almost done. We just need chin and jaw. Alright, and for the hair, I know it's supposed to be blonde, but I really like this more because for some reason the blonde hair in this game doesn't really work too well. Like it looks okay, but it doesn't really look like the magazine, so I, you might as well just go with that because it looks better. Eyebrows, I did the natural female. Because that fits more. Eyeliner. I did Queen of the Nile. I did black, not white. I don't know why they put that on there. I did 100 on that. But for eyeshadow, I did a little on the top. And I only do like about 80. But you guys can play around with this if you want. But I find that looks best. It's just really preference. Cheeks. Uh, I did nothing on that. For the mouth, I always use lip gloss because the lipstick doesn't look right. It makes the character look weird. So just go with lip gloss. 
And personality, I never pay attention to the voice. It doesn't really matter which one you do, because none of them are going to sound like the actual person. And there you have it. That's how you make the character. And one more time in the lighting. Oh, let me go outside. Just doesn't really do it justice. You got to like see the character in the cutscenes to see how well it looks. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, write, comment, all that. I'll see you on the next one.